Forget drones and apps that claim to be digitally disruptive. The big tech trends in 2016 will be things like sensory and contextual information and more ambient user experiences. Look, you might not know what those mean right now, but essentially 2016 could really be the tipping point when the physical and virtual worlds finally merge. 3D printing has been around for ages and something there's been too much hype, but it remains a major growth area with vast potential. Lots more materials can be 3D printed nowadays and one of the major ones of these is bioprinting, where you can print food dot by dot to build up actual edible meals. According to technical expert Dr. Kevin Curran, the aim is to create a range of food inks which are basically substances that form gels with water and from that we can bring food to life from nothing. Ambient user experiences might sound confusing but in reality they're just an extension of what we've got now. You're probably used to Google now telling you when your package is due but imagine taking that further. You want to book a hotel and it will know exactly which ones to recommend based on the ones that you've booked before. The whole thing is about combining human and physical elements, working out your emotional state, your interest, your group dynamics, who you hang out with, and using your location, the light, the pressure, the noise to give you the absolute best result every single time. You're probably quite scared by advanced machine learning thinking it's going to lead to the rise of Skynet, but in reality it's computer learning on both a hardware and a software creation. It starts with deep neural nets which allow computers to both act autonomously and work out the world on their own. Again, it really does sound scary, but what it's really doing is enabling artificial intelligence to provide order in the chaotic world of our Facebook photos and give us information we really want. Hardware is dying, and you already know its replacement. It's things like Google Now, Cortana and Siri, and they're just the beginning. Over the next two decades, they're going to keep getting smarter and smarter, and instead of replacing us, they're going to actually make our lives that much more easier. They're going to show us jobs that only people can do, and in the background, work out different trends and patterns that we wouldn't see normally that make our lives that much better. Bluetooth beacons are nothing new, but so far they've been rather lamely talked up as a way of just texting vouchers to passing shoppers. But in the future, they could be so much more. Imagine being in a museum and knowing exactly what's happening with the exhibit in front of you because your smartphone knows exactly what you're looking at. Or you're at a train platform and there's a gate change and the Bluetooth beacon knows which platform you're on and which you should be right now.